Hi, my name is Dr. Debbie McEwen, and I would like to talk with you today about teaching as a career. Um, I was a teacher for about 20 years in elementary school. I taught in three states, um, and I found it to be very rewarding for a lot of reasons. Um, so let's talk about what teaching is like. Um, I want you to think for a minute about who your favorite teacher is and why. Really, think about it. So most students, if we ask them this question, will say, um, I like so-and-so, whoever teacher, because that teacher cares for me, because um, they taught me to enjoy learning, because I really liked school, uh, because that person was a good listener or helped me to understand difficult things, uh, because that person enjoyed being around us, or that person made learning fun. These are all really good examples of good traits that some of our best teachers have. Some of the other really important skills that teachers need to have are, they need to be a good learner themselves. They need to really be an expert in uh, their subject. If you're talking about your favorite teacher being elementary school, you need to be pretty well-rounded in all your subjects. You don't have to know quite as much about it because you're not teaching the higher ends of it, but you need to know how to deal with young children and all subjects. If you're gonna specialize in history or geography, science or math, um, writing or reading or poetry, all of these things, uh, they require that you have special depth of knowledge in that content area that you're gonna teach. You also need to have good skills in speaking, in organizing, in making things easy to learn, right? How do we break something down to the beginning step and teach it in a sequence that allows younger learners to take that knowledge in? You kind of have to be a good storyteller because you're putting together all these things in the correct sequence. Whether you're a writing teacher or not, you have to be a good storyteller. You have to be good at reading because in order to acquire all this other knowledge, it's dependent on your ability to access that knowledge through reading. And you have to be willing to study. Most teachers in secondary schools are gonna work on their master's degree. Uh, you have to be willing to, to look at that that far in the future and say, I like schooling enough to think I'm gonna to wanna to do this for a while on the learning end and the teaching end. Have you ever thought about what it takes to actually be a teacher? What's it like in the classroom? Some of the jobs that teachers do every day involve planning, sometimes for a week or more in advance. Um, sometimes it's just a day, but we don't just fly by the seat of our pants. We don't just walk in and decide, I'm gonna talk about this today. We have standards that are given to us by the federal government sometimes, national standards, state standards mostly. And, um, and we have to make sure that what we're teaching matches what the state said we're supposed to learn at that age in that subject. Uh, we have to be able to organize our time schedule. We have to um, recognize uh, the, the things that are important that need to be accomplished and make sure they get in there. We have to prepare materials ahead of time sometimes. We have to think ahead about what will um, accentuate the learning, what will make it engaging or interesting to our students. And we have to apply those things into our lessons. Um, most teachers uh, like to teach by making learning fun. Um, it makes it fun for us too. So if we can make it clear, if we can break it down so it's easy to take on, and if we, we can make it fun to learn, then you're gonna take home more of that information and remember it for longer. Um, sometimes we have to be prepared to stop everything for an emergency, emergencies happen. And then sometimes we have to be able to grab everybody's attention right back again and get you right back where we started. And that's a hard skill. We have to be patient. We have to learn to keep our temper under control because school needs to be a place that's safe, not a place where students are afraid to be. We need to be kind. We need to be good listeners because sometimes it takes an adult in the life of a student in order to help them solve a problem. I found that after about 20 years of teaching, 
I wanted to do even more. And I went back to college and I earned my doctorate. So now I have a PhD, a doctor of philosophy degree, and I teach in a university teaching young men and women, college age, how to become a teacher. And that's really rewarding. I never anticipated I was gonna do that. I didn't set out to be a college professor, although some people do. But for me, it just became um, a normal next step. I enjoyed teaching enough that I thought I wanted to still, uh, I wanted to still do it in a way that I felt was gonna make a big impact on schooling. Um, what do you think it would take for you to be good at teaching? I think you wanna think about a couple of things. Um, first of all, teaching someone something new feels really good, right? Uh, have you ever taught someone something like how to score a goal, how to do a math problem, how to write a story? Um, you know, when you help someone else, you get a little bit of that sense of success that teachers feel every day. Uh, being a teacher allows you to make a difference in someone's life. And for a lot of us, a teacher did that for us, and we would like to do that in turn for someone else. Um, teaching is a really cool career that way because you do impact individuals and families sometimes in really positive ways. Another thing is that teaching truly can be very fun. Uh, a classroom can be very filled with laughter and fun. It doesn't mean we're not taking our job seriously. It's just that things that happen in the moment are hilarious. Sometimes someone says, says or does something that really adds humor to, to what's happening. Uh, and so it is, um, it is just a fun career. Another thing um, that I want you to think about is um, the teachers work really hard. It's not an easy job dealing with multiple personalities, middle school and high school, sometimes we have 100, 150 students that go through our, our classrooms in a day. That's a lot of things to keep track of. And that's a lot of, um, of, of different moving parts. Um, it's, a, it's a hard career, um, but it can be rewarding. And, and people who get involved in this career are typically very generous of their time and their talent because it's worth, that's worth it to them. The second thing is that teachers are smart. They studied in college. Most teachers, by the time you get to middle school and high school, uh, will have gotten to the place where they're earning their uh, master's degrees in their subject areas often. Um, that means that you have to really like what you do. You have to really like your topic, your subject, your discipline. Um, teachers are really good at communication. If you find that daunting, speaking publicly or um, having a lot of people listen to you, um, then you want to think carefully about what, what aspect of teaching would work for you because um, it does require good communication, both good listening and a good ability to get information across to someone by making it simple and um, sequential for them to grasp what's happening. The last thing is that teachers are very generous with time and talent. Right, their, their job allows them to give these things away to other people. Um, young people uh, sometimes don't start with the same opportunities at their um, at fingertips. And so uh, great teaching and great teachers can make things available to people that didn't even know they were available to them. And that's a really rewarding way um, to spend your life. So I encourage you to give teaching a thought if you have a positive experience in school, thinking about how you might get some training so that you can give back to a career where someone spoke into your life and gave something special to you. So good luck as you think about what you want to do with your life and your career.